project will help people with intellectual or developmental disabilities gain a wide range of skills and now the program is expanding. I found out the organization is using crime prevention grant money from the city of Indianapolis to open a new location targeting a new demographic. There are two words under each picture that you cannot say. Job preparedness and workplace etiquette are two of the major focus areas for Project Will's Links initiative. Everything that we do here, really we're trying to emulate work. From the minute they walk in the door, they're clocking in, they clock out at the end of the day. So when you get jobs, raise your hand if you have a job. Woohoo! The organization's day program is for adults ages 18 to 35 with disabilities or behavioral health challenges. It's like family, you know, you know, it's like family teaching, help, help one another. You can ask questions too, Mike. 29 year old Michael Lipsy has two jobs. The skills he's mastering at Project Will include teamwork, self advocacy and communication. They help him when he's on and off the clock. Healthy relationships, a green flag and a red flag because the, the green flag is healthy and the red flag is not unhealthy. Those interpersonal skills that may prevent them from being successful. For 30 years, Janine Coleman Miller's passion has been working with people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. She started Project Will in 2019 to honor her father, Willie Spivey. Employment is something that is near and dear to my heart because my dad um, instilled a, a, a strong work ethic in me at a very young age. Now Coleman Miller prepares to help more Hoosiers build confidence, find employment and overcome barriers. Links at 1010 open soon at 10th and Central in Indianapolis. But this is where we're going to be. I love that. It looks nice. We are really trying to reach the demographics that may not know how to navigate the resources that are available to them once their young adult has exited school. So particularly those people of color are really who we're looking for um, ages 18 to 35. I am Mark. Get set. Go. Project Will is funded by the Medicaid waiver, but Coleman Miller says many families don't know how to access that resource. Links at 1010 will be able to help. With crime prevention grant funding, the new location will specifically focus on helping people with a criminal background or those who may be at risk with a preventative approach. I think she's got it. So wanting to look at how can we help impact our community? Because we know some of these individuals don't make the best choices, but we want to, again, come alongside of them and help them, give them um, you know, something to do once they exit school, give them a program that they can um, build community in and feel like they belong. When I first came here, I was like a little bit shy, but now I'm grown, I'm grown up to these people. I really want to do some things to change, change my life. All righty. Well, an opening date for the links at 1010 has not been announced just yet, but I am told participants do not have to be diagnosed with an intellectual disability to be a part of links at 1010. They will have psychologists that will come alongside and work with families. Right now, there is also a need for employer partnerships looking for entry level talent.